What is the pathology shown here? On this coronal CT, we see multiple thickened bronchi in a tree and bud pattern. The answer is bronchiolitis. Now what the heck is bronchiolitis? Well, bronchiolitis is inflammation of the bronchioles of various causes. The direct sign of bronchiolar inflammation, such as from an infectious cause, is often seen as a tree and bud pattern, central lobular nodules, and bronchiolar wall thickening on CT scans. It is often used in situations where the inflammation primarily occurs in airways smaller than two millimeters. It can carry variable clinical, functional, and morphological expressions. The bronchiolar disease may be a primary or secondary condition, and some think there's overlap with the term small airways disease. It's usually not detected at chest radiography, but may manifest with non-specific findings, such as ill-defined small or hazy clustered nodules, or areas of air trapping, characterized by hyperlucency and or oligemia. For example, this frontal chest radiograph of a patient with infectious bronchiolitis shows subtle reticulonodular basal opacities. There's no lobar consolidation or pleural effusion. The presence of bronchiolitis is best assessed with CT. CT features include central lobular micronodules, often seen as tree and bud opacities, bronchial wall thickening, bronchiolar dilatation, often referred to as bronchiolectasis, and mosaic attenuation, and or air trapping if the expiratory image is included. The differential for bronchiolitis is vast and includes inflammatory, infective or infectious, bronchiolitis associated with HP, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, RB or respiratory bronchiolitis slash respiratory bronchiolitis, ILD, interstitial lung disease. Next is follicular bronchiolitis, then pan bronchiolitis, diffuse pan bronchiolitis, bronchiolitis with associated bronchiectasis, and constrictive bronchiolitis. Here is a CT example in a smoker with RB, respiratory bronchiolitis, showing central lobular nodules, ground glass opacities, bronchial wall thickening, and central lobular emphysema. Typically, respiratory bronchiolitis can occur in an asymptomatic patient. This is aspiration-related bronchiolitis. This axial CT in a different patient shows central lobular nodules and patchy ground glass opacities. The lower lobe and posterior distribution of the bronchiolitis raises aspiration as a possible etiology typically distinguished from infection based on clinical presentation. Here is a different patient showing bilateral diffuse micronodules that spare the subpleural lung and fissures, characteristic of a central lobular distribution. Lentil pneumonia is a subtype of diffuse aspiration bronchiolitis that specifically refers to aspiration of legumes, which may elicit a granulomatous reaction. In this other case, there are scattered central lobular nodules throughout the right lung. Note that these micronodules spare the subpleural lung given their central lobular distribution. Esophageal abnormalities, as well as head and neck, gastric, and neurologic conditions predispose affected patients to chronic aspiration. You now know a ton about bronchiolitis. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.